Hello there. I'm making a board game. What the hell? I am. Trying, at least. And I would like you to try it. But before we get there, the story starts here. Here, when my father bought me Star Ferris of Catan. Here, when the universe exploded for no fucking reason. But let's just start here. Six months ago, I had an idea for a game. Another idea. I have a lot of them. There are too many of them. You see, the problem with ideas is that without sacrifice, they are nothing. But with it, they become things. From the moment humans first established contact with alien life to the first invasion, it didn't take long. But it took even less time for all to collapse. Monsters treat the earth like a playground. And those of us that survived were not the lucky ones. We're the leftovers. But this would all change when we learned to control them. But instead of getting rid of them, we began to use them against each other. So the game starts with three monsters in play. More of them will be added when the game progresses. Each monster has a strength level, an ability, how much damage they do to your opponent if you control them, and they also have a color or a monster type, which can mean different things. Each turn, players recruit hunters from the market to join their tribe and to later join them in combat against the monsters. Each hunter has a cost for you to recruit them to your tribe, a gold value that they will later give you to buy more hunters, and they also have strength in combat and an ability. Hunters of different colors can do different things, so the reds are really good in combat and the blue ones are really good in economy. Each turn, players will send hunters to try to control the monsters. Hunters of the same color can fight together, but if they are of different colors, they have to fight alone. Players can either compete against the monster, or try to fight them alone. In either case, the monster will try to fight back. Players will then select a combat card in secret, which will boost the strength of their hunter, and also have special abilities. Once combat cards are selected, an ability is resolved, will reveal them one combat at a time, and the monsters will also get a combat card. They can get weaker, stay the same, or grow stronger. You can win the game in two ways, either by reducing the tribe health of your opponent to zero, or by uh, an alternative victory condition, which is on some special monster cards. Lastly, if you control a monster, you'll get a cool reward from that monster's color. And that's it, so far. So if you have Tabletop Simulator and you watch this video to the end and you have a lot of patience, I would like to invite you to play test the game with me and give me your feedback. I would offer you pizza, but unless you live in Portugal, that might be a bit hard. Thank you for watching.